it's another morning and I'm going to throw in a load of clothes. Well, it's actually not clothes. It's my little <clears throat> sweat jacket that got dirty yesterday when I was putting the deck furniture away. And I have some blankets from the family room that I need to toss in. And then um, pillowcase covers from the pillows on my couch. So I'm going to get this in and then go brush my teeth and get dressed. Should you be on the table? Um, little miss, you're not supposed to be on the table. Well, we got one doggy at the door. <clears throat> so Harry is going to take another vacation day today, which is very good for him because he has um, still like three weeks vacation that he's got to use by the end of the year. And um, he usually saves two weeks for the week of Christmas and the week after Christmas. And then he goes back on January 2nd. But this year, he's um, on call the week of Christmas, so he has to go to work. <clears throat> um, so no vacation the week of Christmas. So we're thinking he's going to take a week before Christmas, then work the week of Christmas, then take the week after Christmas, which still leaves him one more week. <clears throat> and he was saying, I don't know when I'm going to squeeze this in by the end of the year because um, he's got projects that he's in charge of. Um, long story, but anyway, it, it, in a way it's a compliment because work finds uh, him to be very valuable. <laughs> they, they trust him and they put him in charge of all these projects and stuff, but it's very time consuming, these projects. And as most people who have watched my Sandy cams um, over the last year know that we live with the phone going off on all of his days off, whether he's on vacation, on the weekend, in the middle of the night, um, emails, you know, he could be off and people send him emails, then they'll call him, check the email, respond back, send emails out to other people, all this other stuff. So he has a very high stress job and um, he's got to go out of town once this month he's got to go to Phoenix, he's got to go to Florida in December. So he was like, I don't know when I'm going to squeeze in that last week for now vacation. It's time for me to go get dressed, begin my day. Since Harry's going to be off again today, he's going to help me get um, the, the tree that goes up, up there in the corner. And we got to get this tree up. He's going to help me put them together, fluff them all up. The upstairs tree is already lighted, so I don't have to add no lights to it. But the one down here in the foyer, we have to put lights on it. And then I'll decorate the one upstairs. And then um, with the rest of my day, I don't know what I'm going to do. But one thing I will tell you, look, oh, you're all laying down like nice girls. One thing I will tell you, I know that in the last few of my Sandy Cam um, videos, I've been saying, oh, what, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. This is what happens with me. I can plan out my days, even the day before, the night before, I plan out my days of what I want to do, because I try to get everything in my head, what I want to do, so I go boom, 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 and I get everything done. Uh, in a timely fashion, but unfortunately, things come up and it just doesn't work out that way, does it? So, um, if you ever hear me now and then, I say, oh, I'm going to do this, oh, I'm going to do that, uh, and then it doesn't pan out that way, that's, that's why. I'll just show you my vitamins I take. I take these Vitafusion, they're gummy vitamins, they're actually pretty good. I take those in the morning, and then I have, these are pre, prenatal, but I take them anyway because it's fiber plus calcium. I take um, two of those in the evening, and then I have these that they're just regular calcium, and I take two of those in the evening too. I've been doing that for probably a couple months now, taking them in the morning and at night like that. and. Um, 
seems to be fine for me. So now I gotta go find some clothes to put on for today. And we're already getting up on the bed and getting this all wrinkled. I have a feeling, even though this is a nice comforter, this comforter is going to be a problem because the dogs are on the bed all the time and it's just going to be a wrinkled mess all the time. I hate to say it, but I might need to find another comforter at some point. Um, I don't feel that this is a big loss because I can still put it out from time to time. And it was only the whole thing, the whole bedding thing with the skirt, the... Um, comforter and the pillow shams. I got the whole thing for $60. So anyway, it was on sale. I usually take this chair and put it downstairs in the basement, but I think what I'm going to do, since there's nobody in this other bedroom, it was Joe's room last year, but then Carly took it for like a month and a half, two months, whatever it was, and she moved out and there's nobody in here. So um, oh, I'm going to have to put it over that thing there, but I think I'll just set it, I don't know, over there by that dresser and that window. So while well, putting that chair over there, I went to cross over because of this, and look what I see laying here. I see a Mr. Bing's kitty. You're laying down on Carly's bed. Nice boy. So... I need to wait for Harry to come home. And guess what I remembered that I need to do? I need to call the plumber back to my house because our shower is still leaking. Harry changed the shower head. It wasn't the shower head. That's another problem. So, will you girlies please go down the stairs? Um, so I gotta call the plumber. Come on, hurry up. Good girls. I had to have been upstairs getting ready for probably at least 20 minutes and that's you know getting dressed and doing other things that I was doing up there and I came downstairs and look look who is still sitting on the table and sitting in the same position have you not even moved in 20 minutes are you like a statue Miss Kelsey Kelsey are you being camera shy you don't want to be on the camera Okay, you girlies can go out. I need to get the okay, phone. Okay, here's and something that get... I need to do, and I do this every couple months because for some reason, whenever it rains, um, the back side of the window, it gets real dirty with like dirty water spots on it from the rain. And when things blow and it looks like cobwebs that are on there, but it's not. It's just like outdoor debris. Look at my window. It just looks real, really dirty. Um... I obviously clean it on the inside um, frequently and about every three months or so, two months, three months, um, I go outside and I take the screen off, I clean the screen and I clean the back of the window, but within a week it, it seems like it's dirty again. But because it is colder outside, it's going to continue getting colder, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this today because when I look outside, I don't want to be looking through dirt. Dirt and haze. Okay, step one with the window is done. Now I need to pop out my screen. And my little tabs broke off probably because I have to do this so many times. So I have to get a knife. And I think a butter knife is going to be better. Okay, so step two, I need to clean off of this. I don't know if you can see all the stuff that's on here, but there's like stuff from outside. And then I'm going to close this window because now I have to go outside. See, I cleaned the inside, but see, you can see all like the spots and stuff that's on the outside. Then I'll get all of that put back Alrighty, together. Alrighty, one filthy, dirty screen cleaned. And see, now you can see nice and clean. So now I've got to go outside. Got to go find a pair of shoes right. I can slip on first. Alrighty, paper towels, Windex, squeegee. I got a doggy at the door, but she'll stay outside when I come. She's going to know I'm going to come out here. I got to get my step ladder, my step stool, whatever it's called. First, let's take this out. And the whole gang is coming. They're all coming. Because I have to get up there. <clears throat> 
my pumpkins, I'm going to have to take these in too. The ones that have brown spots on them, these won't last a long time if I even try to store them. This one and this one and this one. I'm going to have to take these in um, one day at the end of the week when I'm done with all my Christmas decorating. I'm going to cut these and roast them and then scrape out all the purine. I'll have it for a pumpkin pie. Um, and you can stick that in the freezer or whatever. Um, the rest of my pumpkins, see, they're all still good. These, oh, no. This one, this one's good with that and that. But this one also is going to have to be roasted. So all these over here and that one and that one, I'm going to store downstairs in my basement. That's where I ouch, store things because it, it stays cool down there in my storage room. So these are the real pumpkins. These are the fake ones over here. Those are the fake ones. i got to throw those out. They're so old. I've had those since I lived in Chicago. I think I got those, I don't know, year 2000, 2001, something like that. So they're really old. So I got these and these that need to go downstairs with that and that and those I gotta roast okay now I gotta clean that here comes Chloe around all the bushes so what I thought that um, I would come out here and show you guys is uh, the wood pile how high it is I mean you guys have seen our wood pile before and we have to get a new tarp you know what this is a brand new tarp we got this wood I think in August and we stacked it but we had you know lots of wind um, from storms and that this was a brand new tarp. I mean brand new we put it over and look it's all ripped up So we got to get another one look. I mean, it's just everywhere ripped up But look how high <laughs> It's like a mountain of wood and that'll be nice because if uh, we have a cold winter We're gonna have plenty of wood um, those two years that we had those blizzards um, one year we almost ran out of wood and, um, I was able to find somebody to bring some wood in, but their wood, um, is more hardwoods. Uh, hardwoods don't start fires easily. They're good to put inside the fire once you have your fire going really well. Uh, but it's not good to like begin your fire and get your fire going for about an hour or so. Anyway, well, my wood guy, come on, Lucy, said that he had an extra cord of wood and if we wanted it, we took it. So we figured it's been a couple years since we've had a really, really cold winter. So it's better be safe, you know, than sorry. And if we end up having another warm winter, like we did the last two years where we don't use a lot of wood, then you know what? We don't really have any wood that we gotta buy next year. We'll be good to go. Come on, let's Okay, so I got my patio door all clean now too. So now it's time to put up all these gel clingy thingamabobs. So uh, I was thinking about on the patio door doing the let it snow with the snowmen and let it be a snowman door. Then the other option is I could do the let it snow, but because it has the snowflakes, I can put a bunch of snowflakes, which that seems too much in the way of snowflakes and blue and teal. And then if I did those two on the other window, I think I'm going to do it like this. I'll do snowflakes with Christmas lights on that window and I'll do this on my patio door. Okay, I had to put a little mood, mood music on. So anyhow, uh, there's this window there like that. And then I did this over here. Just I'm snow. just changing out batteries in these candles. I had two of them up here last year, and um, I forgot to turn them on when I was doing my open house tour, but um, they're battery operated. And they're nice because you can have them where they just keep changing color. See, that was green, now it's blue. That was green now it's blue now that's going red it was purple so this will be changing probably to red here that's gone purple there 
that's gone green there that's going red so it'll show up better in the dark but um, I'm going to use these this year and what's nice about these you can leave them where they're on um, only thing is when you leave them on all the time the batteries drain but they have a thing there where you can put it on sensor so when you're walking by and I'm assuming this little tab here is the sensor so I think you'd have to have it facing this way as opposed to this way and then when you come by then they'll just turn on the other thing that's nice about it too because it's on color here but if you let me gently put this down if you switch it to white then they're just like that golden white color and then you can put them here where they flick that's that orangey glow and it flickers see and it'll show up better in the dark but I like I like all three of them but I think I like the colored version better because <laughs> I like watching them change <clears throat> all the colors so I think I'm gonna put two of them here and then the other two I'm not sure oh you gonna come down close okay so we are finished it's one o'clock and you can see the tree through there and through there there it is so I'll stand at the top of the stairs now so you can have a look They have some more lighted presents over at Lowe's. I'm thinking about going and getting them. So they'll, these are so old. I've had those, oh, probably about 10 years or more. But I'm going to try to get the other ones to go over there. But here is the tree from this side, coming from this way. And then this way. And we have it decorated all the way here in the back because I'm holding the, cam the camera. This is this little window area that goes down to our family room, so it's got to be decorated there. And then those lights will all turn on later this afternoon on a timer. We got tired puppies, so now I've got to go to the basement because um, this uh, is the last box, decoration box and the next to the last Christmas tree box that has to go downstairs. So I'm going to go down there now and I'm going to rearrange everything and get all that. Well, it's about 2.38, whatever, almost 2.40 in the afternoon. And so I went ahead and I, uh, I thought if I just go ahead and get the tree up, the lights on, I was going to let it go at that. And then I thought, you know, let me go ahead and try to get this ribbon on, the beads on, um, all the picks and those poinsettia things that I have, and the ornaments that I know that I am going to keep. I am going to go ahead and get as much on this tree as possible. Um, I'm not so keen about that star, but... Uh, and I don't know if I'm so keen on this tree just yet, <laughs> but you know, it's a work in progress. That's all I have to say. Um, when I first did my candy cane tree, oh, when I was first putting all the um, poly mesh on it and everything, I, I hated that tree. <laughs> I did not like it. So anyhow, um, you know, I'll just keep on working at it and see what uh, I can do. I still have another strand of those beads that I've got to put in the back, but I've got to stop and get ready for to make dinner right now. Then I have these long strand where I double them and I'm going to like crisscross. I'm doing everything crisscross. And then um, I have another uh, bunch of these if I need them. So anyway, like I said, it's a work in progress and I'll see uh, how it goes. So I'm going to get dinner ready, get that other strand of beads on, start getting these on the floor, get those beads on. If I need to do the next batch, I'll do that. I've already started putting, you know, some of the picks in. 
Um, I'm going to finish working on that. <gasps> and look, I forgot to put this grapevine wreath. Um, it's not a wreath. It's the um, swag. I was going to put this on my family room tree. And I didn't because I forgot all about it. But you know what? I think I can put it in here. So that's what I'm saying. So by the time that I get all that, I got that big ribbon to put on by the star. I got like these. So I know for sure I'm keeping the owls and I'm keeping these and I'm keeping those and I'm keeping those and I'm keeping like these that I showed you guys. Um, and like here's some snowflakes. So yeah, like I said, the stuff that I know that I'm keeping, I'm just going to get it all on the tree and see how it looks. And um, I don't know if I don't like this. I'll tell Joe next year I want my candy cane stuff back and he can have all of this. So I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Okay, I'll quickly share um, how I do my mock uh, cordon chicken. Um, cordon blue, I should say, chicken cordon blue. Um, I take, what I do is I get my chicken breast cleaned already, get them in the dish. Then for every breast, and I have five here, I need two slices of Swiss cheese. I mean, if you didn't have enough Swiss cheese and you just have one slice for each, that's good enough. But these are thinly sliced. So I set two, 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 I set, you know, five groups. Then I get a slice of ham. And I put the cheese, ham, cheese. And then so I do that. Get all five sets ready. Then I come back and I salt and pepper my chicken breast. I, here you can see, there's the cheese. And I just pick up my uh, groups of cheese and ham, put it on top of each of the chicken breast. Then I mix one cup of sour cream with one can of cream of chicken soup. And I like this cream of chicken with herbs and you just mix it all up and then spoon it all out and you know just take your spoon and kind of cover a little bit cover it with foil put it in 350 degree oven for um about an hour hour and a half is what i do and um that's it that's all you got to do and i'm going to make rice with all right the sun is setting out there it might not look like it is but trust me it is and um I worked with everything that I had, but I still see lots of um, areas that I need to fill in, so I am still going to go get those um, Jacqueline Smith ornaments, plus I still need to get a new tree skirt. I saw some tree skirts at other stores that I like, but um, with those Jacqueline Smith ornaments that I like, a lot of times she has matching tree skirts. So anyway, um, this is what it is like with the light on and it's gonna have to grow on me this tree um, I, I was the same way with my candy cane tree it had to like just grow on me <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll get used to this I'm just so used to my candy cane tree you know and it's like when y you just venture doing something new um, you know you're just not sure of what it looks like so Anyhow, this is what this looks like so far, and when I get those ornaments, either tomorrow or hopefully by Thursday, um, I can get this finished. Like I said, see like there's places, they still need to be filled in a little bit. I like a lot of ornaments on my tree, so anyhow, um, but this is with what I had. And... Um, I didn't use these, my Santa fell over, my Father Christmas, whatever. I don't like those. They're, they're just too plastic looking. And these, I didn't want to put any green on. So these are all going to have to go back to the stores where I got them from. So yeah, I just need a tree skirt and more ornaments. And that's what it looks like. I hope it doesn't look so bad. My husband said he liked it, so anyway. That's my blue tree. I'm still thinking of a name for it. <laughs>